Hi everyone and welcome to another Saturday Sipping Session with me, Sara, aka Queen of Queen from Vin Van Kepdeed and today I'm with the very cool Owen Bowley. Hi Hello. Owen. Thanks for coming. No worries. Uh, Bowley was awesome during lockdown. He wrote loads and loads of recipes and did us uh, some videos that went with some of the wines that we were doing for the Saturday Sipping Sessions. Um, which we might have another one at the end of the video. Plan on doing more now the kids are back in school for sure. Yeah. Yeah. You've got the time and they, the space. They took over a bit. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happened. Um, so today we're going to talk about a Chianti. This is a brand new wine that we got in at the at Vin Van Gerdi. Um This is called When We Dance, 2018 Vintage, and I chose this one because it's delicious. Two, because it's organic and this week is uh, we're focusing more on organic wines just as a loose theme and three because this came from Sting's Vineyard which is also why it's called When We Dance. It should be every sip you take. <laughs> every sip you take. <laughs> I thought it should have been Rosso Chianti. No, okay, I was thinking of a, of a friend's reference. Um, so, yeah, this is... So, Chianti. Chianti is in the region of Tuscany. Tuscany uh, wines tend to be Sangiovese. Well, not tend to be. They are Sangiovese-based wines, so between 60 and 100%. Um, this vineyard, so Sting and Trudy, I'm going to talk about them like, like I know them bought the estate in 1999 and they've been running this uh, vineyard well not them but you know they pretend that didn't happen yeah. they have been uh they've hired people to kind of run the vineyard for them obviously because that's what you do when you've got a lot of money um and it's been run biodynamically for decades now and they produce quite a few tuscan reds uh, including when we dance and there's another one that they've called oh i can't remember the name now Oh, it doesn't matter. I'll put it in the comments, but it's something... Another Chianti? Or... No, it's well, it's it's another Tuscan red. It's not necessarily Chianti, okay. um, so it'll be more of a blend, mm. but it has another sting name. Maybe which... that's every sip we take. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Um, so let's give it a go. Let's have a little taste. So... I feel like every Chianti should come in a straw basket. In a straw basket? Yeah, 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 I get what you mean. That was my first memory. But it's got a nice colour, so the traditional Chianti's will tend to be unoaked and so stainless steel tanks. They will have more kind of tomato-y, they're all about the leather, leathery goodness. Mm -hmm. um, more like cranberry style, so they're like cooler climates. And then more of the modern styles will do like a lot more oak ageing, so you'll get like vanilla stuff. But this is, this is, compl this is stainless steel, this is no oak ageing, it's had maybe... Uh, six months in bottle, six months in stainless steel, and then three months in bottle. So it's got, it's had a little bit of aging just to kind of mellow it out a little bit. It's got like a, like a balsamic. It is. Scent to it. Yeah. It's that like tomatoey, mm. slightly raspberry, cranberry. Kind of uh, Chianti's uh, often cherry, but I don't get too much cherry from that, it's more, like you say yeah. tomato, I can totally smell yeah. tomato. Yeah, it's right. more on the savoury side, isn't it? Mm. More of the modern, well I think they've been trying to, because this vineyard has been, or this estate has been producing wine since I think the 19th century, so I think mm. they've been trying to um, follow in their footsteps and kind of, um, because it's all biodynamic and organic, the respect for everything, they're just oh, making some noises with, with my chair. Um, they're letting the wine kind of speak for itself as opposed to lots and lots of different treatments and yeah. oak and whatnot. It is, yeah, it's quite savoury, isn't it? It's deep. Deep. The colour's nice. The colour's not, it's not too, it's kind of a, it's more red. Draw some paper. Mm. There you go. Yeah, it's not, not helpful to do it over a red tablecloth, is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> keep that in mind next time but it's a really lovely kind of ruby colour yeah. 
One was tomato. That that looks like a tomato sauce. It's starting to sound like, a lot like a soup. <laughs> I like wines that um, taste like tomato soup, like a Spanish monastrel sometimes. Mm. And it's got some cracking legs on it. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna give it a nice little taste. Wow. That's got a punch on it, isn't it? Mm. Just 13%. Sangiovese grapes tend to be quite high in acid, which you're getting. Mm. Yeah, it's right up here. Yeah. Medium bodied, mm. which I would say that is. And high ish in alcohol. So it kind of it ticks all the boxes. I'm still getting that like sort of balsamic thing going on with it. Mm. I'm getting a lot more like fresh red fruits on it though. A little bit more of the mm. raspberry, a little bit. I am getting some more of the cherry now. You do, yeah, you do get the cherry and yeah. the flavour. But it's really nice and clean. Mm. That's Quite really dry. nice. Yeah. That's a nice thing about, you know, Chianti regions, they tend to be quite, they're not, um, you know, a lot of Italian wines can be quite concentrated and almost jammy. Yeah. And it, it's got this perception of sweetness mm. that can be nice, but I prefer a nice yeah. dry red. I'm not a big fan of the jammy wines. Mm -mm. Would you start with that or would you have that a few in? I always mm. thought of Chianti as something you would kind of start on, but I'm not so sure I would with that. I'd possibly maybe slightly less or slightly lighter, and then I'd go to that. Yeah, maybe it's not the it's not beginning of the night. Yeah. I think it's quite food friendly because of the savoury quality to it. So you'd have this, you'd have something else before, and then this with dinner. Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. And then you can follow it up with something to really. Help you pass out. That with a, um, a fish dish. A fish dish. A fish dish? Yeah, fish dish. That would be nice actually. Mm. Especially because it's, it's quite chilled at the moment just because we're in the Bridge Studios uh, Vin Van box and it's reasonably chilled in here. Mm. And it's actually quite nice. I think if it's quite chilled, especially, it goes really, really well. It's refreshing well considering it does have that high acid and dryness mm. to it. This would actually go really well with, there are two recipes that we posted, mm. the meatball marinara, Yeah. because that tomato sauce is banging, that's a winner. and that would go really well with this, mm. the tomato with the tomato. Yeah, for sure. And then there was another uh, one. It was like a parmigiana, yes. and courgette parmigiana. So again, kind of like rustic style vegetables with a rustic-y... Um, savory style wine would go really really well so we'll we'll put links to those videos or maybe repost them and um, if you want to take a look but yeah they would go really really well thoughts i think it's really nice i think it's um i'm always a big fan of chianti's anyway mm. it's slightly drier than i'd expect from a chianti but okay. that's not a, a negative thing as such just the expectation of it mm -hmm. um Flavour wise, it's got everything I'd expect. Yeah. Um, I like that balsamic touch. I think it brings a lot to it. Yeah. And yeah, it's delicious. I agree. Well, I think Sting has, Sting and his wife. Well done, Sting. Yeah, they've done, well, well done, Sting. Well done. Um, cool. This wine is available online on vinvancardid.co.uk at 10% off. So, the normal OG price is fourteen ninety nine, so you've got it for cheap now, for much cheaper for seven whole days from today for the next uh, seven days until Friday. Um, so take advantage. Full tasting notes, which will look something like this, but um, if you do print them off, then do it on better paper because it'll look better. Um, full tasting notes, lots of other information is all available on the website, um, and we'll put links and everything that you need um, in this post or in the comments. Um, so yeah, hope you've enjoyed this um, Saturday sipping session. <laughs> really distracted today apparently. It's the wine, I've just had a little bit too much wine. Thank you for, thank you for muddling through this with me. <laughs> it's my absolute pleasure, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's just, let's just have a drink. Yechida. <laughs>